The North Dakota State volleyball team returns to Benson Bunker Fieldhouse this week, hosting St. Thomas tonight in Fargo. The Bison enter the week after dropping back to back matches on the road last week, but they are back at home where they last won that one over UND over two weeks ago. The Bison jumping out to an early lead over St. Thomas in their first meeting of the fall, and they win the battle at the net. To extend the early lead, Allie Hines with the strike up over the net off the Tommy's tips and out by Bison up 13. They keep the pressure coming after a Tommy rally. It's snapped as Alexis Bowling drops the hammer cross court. Then the Bison pressure from the other side. Maggie Steffen up with the kill. Tommy's just can't control and the Bison are chomping to close this first set out. They finish it off on the tip over by Steffen. Bison take the first set with a commanding lead. They go on to win this one three to nothing. Well, North Dakota hosting Western Illinois tonight, falling three two in a five set battle. These two will swap opponents for Saturday. Well, as the North Dakota high school state football playoffs roll on, the top seed in Class B is expecting to keep their winning streak alive. Hillsborough Central Valley has now won nine consecutive games after their season opening loss to Central Cass, who happened to be their opponents this weekend. The Burroughs finished the regular season at 8-1 and one and beat Lisbon 43-8 in the first round of the playoffs. Although they have a chance to avenge their only loss of the year, they aren't letting anything get in the way of their preparation. Well, you, I think you got to play it like it's your, uh, every game like it's your last, you know, uh, especially as seniors, you know, uh, we're really passionate about this sport and uh, yeah, we just got to play it like it's your last, like every single game and uh, just expect to win. The winner of this game will play either Bishop Ryan or Velva Garrison in the quarterfinal round. Kickoff between the Burroughs and the Squirrels is set for 2 p.m. on Saturday. And the Fargo Moorhead Red Hawks family is mourning the loss of one of their own tonight. Former pitcher Tyler Heron passed away this week at the age of 35. Heron played in five seasons for the Red Hawks as a starting pitcher. Most recently, he had a short stint this last summer. The St. Louis Cardinals drafted Heron in the first round of the 2005 MLB draft. He spent seven seasons in all as a part of the American Association. An outstanding athlete, always eager, welcoming and willing to speak with the media. He will certainly be lost and was a, a great spirit on that team. Really represented what Red Hawks baseball is all about. Just so young, gosh. Yeah. Thanks, Beth. Still to come, Hutch joins us again with an update to your Friday.